Good morning, and thanks for tuning in to Notations of a Nappy Girl, episode 55. Bye bye. Okay, so today, I always say I'm going to be brief, so I'm not going to say that. Um, what I do want to talk about is this little term that I hear a lot from coming from adults, and it's a little concerning to me about getting in your feelings. Now, here's the thing. The term itself is indicative of somebody really feeling something really intensely. That I can understand. What I think people are losing in the transition is when you get in your feelings, you can possibly call someone else to get out of their feelings. Because what I'm noticing is people get in their feelings and instead of being introspective and reevaluating their feelings and understand why they're feeling the way that they're feeling and why they're doing the things that they're doing, they tend to just come off very either arrogant, aggressive, or nonchalant. Um, what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing about is typically when people get in a feelings, they tend to push people away from them without knowing it. Most adults who engage in this type of behavior, to me, it's an attention seeking behavior. Well, I can't get what I want. You're not saying what I want. You're not doing what I want. So now I feel some sort of way. Well, how the hell do you feel? Express it, articulate it. All this crap that we do in a way to, um, trying to think of the word, to defend ourselves. It's a defense mechanism. That, that's what I was looking for. These defense mechanisms that we have, we need to learn how to disengage them. Because what happens is you may be feeling some sort of way for a reason, but it may be a reason that's simply in here. Because of feelings, emotions themselves, even at the most basis of their existence. They're just emotions. There is nothing behind them. You feel the way you feel. But as we grow, we learn how to deal with those feelings, whether it's shame, rejection, anger, happiness, joy, whatever. You learn how to deal with them. As you grow, you learn how to deal with them. So now what's confusing to me is you got grown ass women and grown ass men who don't know how to process their feelings. So hypothetically speaking, you right there, you mad at me for some reason. I didn't answer the phone when you called. I didn't return your text quick enough. Um, I wasn't where you needed me to be. Whatever the case may be, this stuff is not life changing. That's what I mean. People get in their feelings about stuff that has nothing to do with anything. A missed phone call. Or you miss somebody. Here's my thing. You miss me? Tell me you miss me. Freaking act like you miss me. Don't walk around with an attitude. Don't have your ass on your shoulder, so to speak. Because all that's going to do is push me further away from you. Because, see, you can get in your feelings. But you have not accurately articulated why you're in your feelings. So you may say a couple of little things and your responses are real short and real snippy or what have you. What am I supposed to do with that? It's just like they say in the Bible, violence begets violence. Meaning, if you impose violence upon someone, violence and then in turn will be imposed upon you. Same thing works for attitudes. Attitude begets attitude. You throw me shade, what I'm going to do back? I'm going to throw you shade because one, I'm confused because I don't know what the shade is coming from. Two, I'm hurt because you're throwing me shade. And three, mentally, all I know how to do is do what? Defend myself, retaliate. So now you got two people who are just doing this for absolutely no reason whatsoever. When the person who is in their feelings can just say why they in their feelings. People, 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 people. I cannot say this enough. When you're dealing with your betrothed, your partner, your husband, your wife, your lover, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your cuddy buddy, significant other, whatever the case may be. When you're dealing with them, communicate. I, I say that, oh, I'm 55 videos in and I honest to God want to say at least 30 of them are about communication because it's what we're lacking. We depending on text messaging, instant messages, everything. No, pick up the phone if you can't see that person. Express to them what you're feeling. Uh, 
Shit, write a letter, send a card, do something. But all these attitudes and then getting in your feelings and then you in your feelings for two, three days. Here's the funny thing. Most people can deal with that shit. I can't. I'm one of them people. I need communication to know where your head is at at all times. Like, we live together. You mad at me. I don't know why. Now I'm paranoid. Now I'm watching you while you sleep because I don't know if you're going to get up and stab me in the neck with an ink pen. I know that sounds extreme, but that's how my mind works. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who mind works that way. So what I'm saying is talk to your partner. Talk to your friend. I see best friends falling out because somebody in their feelings. For what? What's the point of it? Emotions are a beautiful thing when expressed properly. Even anger, even disgust can be expressed effectively and dealt with. But if you leave things to fester, what happens? It gets infected. It becomes a sore. And once it becomes a sore, then gangrene develops. And then what happens? Then you just cut it off. Then you sitting there mad listening to the song. It ain't nothing to cut that trick off. Because somebody didn't cut you off because you didn't got in your damn feelings. And then you didn't piss them off and hurt their feelings for no other reason other than you felt some sort of way. People, we have got to stop feeling some sort of way. Know how you feel. Know why you feel that way. And act accordingly. That's my thing for the day, people. I'm so serious. We got to do better as adults as far as communicating. So. Be good out there. Peace and blessings.